Welcome back to Houston Life. Parents, I know you all remember virtual learning during the pandemic, and it's hard to believe that was nearly three years ago. Well, our next guest thrived during that time. This local father started holding live streams, teaching hundreds of thousands of kids how to draw in 3D. Now he's got a new book out called Half Hour of Pencil Power. Joining us now is Emmy Award winning PBS Children's television artist Mark Kistler. Thank you for well, coming today. Hey, thank you so much, <laughs> Lauren and Crystal, for inviting me to, to be here. Tough act to follow oh. with Elmo. Oh my, El just, oh my gosh, it's Elmo. That was so you cool. Know, Elmo draws out the kid in all of us as well as drawing, right? Well, and you've it, been doing Elmo it all the time. Elmo had to be created by the artist. In fact, I was friends with Carol Spinney, and uh, he he and I would we, we would talk at comic conventions about the importance of drawing, and how everything had to be drawn first, from Elmo to Big Bird to the set designs to this set here. Everything has to be drawn first, and that's what I've been doing for forty years. And I've been teaching kids and, and parents how to draw in 3D. That is That's a great awesome. story. I love the connection. And you're exactly right, though. It comes from your mind, imagination, and then it comes to your pencil and paper, on the paper, and then it comes to life. That's with every drawing, yeah, drawing right? Drawing is the, the, the amazing, powerful tool to lift kids up, their spirits, their, their emotions. Right now, we're going through everybody knows the, this difficult challenging time and I have found even after the 40 years of doing it that drawing it lifts people up and it's joyful it's fun it builds up their enthusiasm and also it launches the children's imagination I keep saying kids but the parents and grandparents like when I do my summer camps this summer in Sugar Land and in Tomball and in um, uh, ah, all over Texas, all over yeah. all over Texas Toronto and Boston um, I try to get the parents to come, and they have to stay one day over the five days, and it turns out that 50% of the parents will stay the whole week. The whole time. Because they're drawing. So we started three weeks, or five weeks ago, I'm doing my live stream since the pandemic, every day around 7 p.m. on my YouTube channel and Facebook. Well, five weeks ago, I get an email from two professionals from MIT and Harvard, Matt and Rachel Courtney, and they had this idea, hey, let us help get you invited to cities around North America, Canada and America, to spark, to spark, I love that word, that's to spark the imagination in local communities through the visual arts. So they, they got us, they, they, we have 33 volunteers now in just a matter of five weeks. This is so oh, wow. fantastic. I don't know, Crystal, if you knew this, but Mark, you said your live stream, which got going during the pandemic. Yes. Tell everybody what happened, it exploded. My son, my uh, amazing Mario, he, he, he missed his last month of school, like so many millions of people around America and around the world during the pandemic. March 20th, of uh, 3 p.m., they canceled school. So the next Monday, we started doing a father-son Mario and dad live stream, and which turned out to be this book right here, which I'm gonna give you. Your, nice, yeah. thank yeah. you. <laughs> so we got, we built up to just wow. thousands and thousands of viewers all over the world, and our pencil power, we did it for an hour free for the kids around the world as a, a way to channel their imagination, to, to give them a break from the stress and to draw and be creative and have fun. Can, can I give a shout out real quick? Absolutely. To, to Krista and Jeff and Veronica and all my Spark volunteers all over. Thank you guys. They're watching now in Toronto and Boston oh, hey. and in South Carolina and in Atlanta. So thank you guys. They, they in, in five weeks, we started this to, to ignite the visual arts, celebrate the visual arts in these communities. And we even have England now and Scotland uh, where people are, they're inviting me to come in to their areas to, to talk to the local schools. I was just at Hayes Elementary School yesterday. It was so much fun. Just over here, across this bridge. You're a busy guy. Yeah, I know, right there. <laughs> so I was at Hayes with 500 kids. They're going to invite me to come into these cities all over the country and visit all the schools, the art museums, the children's hospitals, and uh, the PBS stations, bookstores, and to ignite the visual arts and then we can bring in all the local artists to, to get the local artists uh, celebrated and get them plugged in. Mark, my question for you is you've been an artist for over four decades, over 40 years. Have you I feel so young. <laughs> how? When you're only yeah. 10 years old, amazing. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> have you always been interested in art? Has it always been part of your life? You know, I was so lucky when I was young, I met my 
uh, master teacher, uh, Bruce McIntyre, when I was in fifth grade. He was a Disney artist, and he inspired me with this imagination that I went through a, uh, with this desire to draw. I knew that ever since I was young, I wanted to be a cartoonist. I thought I was going to be a Flintstones animator. <laughs> That was my favorite. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. And then I said, uh, I had this goal. I wanted to teach a million kids how to draw before I turned 18. And that's what that, these art teachers got me so excited. I wanted to teach art. Well, I turned 18, and I, I missed my goal by like 400,000. Oh. I've been doing school assemblies. But I turned 21, and that's when my launch, a week before my 21st birthday, of a lot of your, your viewers might remember on Channel 8 here in Houston, it was one of the 190 stations around the country to air The Secret City. It's so wonderful. Which is very exciting. We well, did. Mark, I, I'm just taking a look here. You've written over 20 books <laughs> in your lifetime. Yeah. These are amazing. And <laughs> let me ask you something. You said that you're going to be able to teach Crystal and I how to draw. And yes, play. I am so excited. I'm that's, really setting the bar low, Mark. That's my happy place. To, <laughs> I, I'm happiest when I'm sharing my passion and my joy of drawing. Drawing, anybody can draw. I, I taught blind students how to draw, and that's a, that's a feature story on itself. You can learn how to draw, and I'll share with you. It's so fun. It's so easy, just step by step. We'll do it. Now. I guess we have like three minutes. At any age, we I'll can do this. I will show you how to draw the wonderful fish. All right. Thanks again, all my Sparks people out there. I'm just so excited. I, I love your excitement. Crystal, are you excited to learn I'm how to draw? I'm super excited. I okay. told you, I can draw a right. really good elephant. All right, we're ready so for I'm this. Ready. But you guys don't go anywhere, because after the break, Mark is going to teach Crystal and I how to draw in draw, 3D. Draw. And he promises that we're going to be able to master it, no matter how bad we are. Houston Life will be right back.